Hello, my name is Joel Wilborn. I'm the author of the Book of Yah Spell. In this video, I will show you how to cast a Yah Spell. Now, a Yah Spell isn't anything that comes from the gates of hell or is commissioned by Satan or designed to destroy a person's life by introducing evil and disorder. It's actually quite the opposite. A Yah spell is just a form of prayer designed to bring a sense of calmness back into your life. Let's say someone decides to attack you, either a bully or a con artist, or someone who has assaulted you, or, or threatened you, or abused you, or just brought some form of discomfort to your life, the Yah spell is designed to bring God's help to you so that this person can be brought back underneath the wing of a Christian lifestyle. It's not designed to change the person's life only bring a temporary fix to a temporary situation and if it's continued to be used throughout your life it can keep order and actually lead to a, a permanent fix to a serious problem so hopefully this video will help you to understand that there are many different ways to deal with people who are disrupting your life for whatever reason. And this is just one of the ways, hopefully it will work for you, that can bring order back into your life. And the greatest success I could even hope for by casting a Yaw spell is that you have peace of mind and a closer relationship with God Almighty. Vengeance Yahweh sees us as his children and he is quick to treat us as such. One action he demands that we do not take on without his full support is vengeance. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 35 God tells us vengeance is mine. The concept is far too advanced for us to comprehend and to carry out. It is Yahweh and only Yahweh who has the right to inflict vengeance on anyone. We must respect this command and follow it with absolute faith. We have all felt the urge to seek revenge on certain people throughout our lives. Their actions rub us the wrong way and we sometimes act without thinking. Our mixed emotions lead to uncontrollable action for which we regret later on. It is wise to let God handle all who have wronged us at any given moment in our lives. As for anyone who has seen the wrath of God, they will know that there is no better revenge on a person than that inflicted by Yahweh. It is this theme that gives the vengeance ingredient its purpose within the Yah spell. Wanting to seek revenge on a person is not an evil thing. When done properly, it can give self-satisfaction. And the proper way to get vengeance is to leave it all up to Yahweh. A simple prayer followed up by undying faith is the best way to get through an otherwise unbearable situation. The Vengeance Ingredient When God gave us the Ten Commandments, He very carefully chose Ten Commands He wanted us to follow. There is a reason He picked those Ten Commandments. If they are followed, we can live in peace and harmony with each other. 
But notice he didn't command us, you shall not seek revenge. But centuries later, Jesus came along and simplified the Ten Commandments. You shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 39. So how can a person love God with all his heart, soul, and mind, and also love his neighbor like himself and commit vengeance? Sin is the transgression of the law. The law is defined as the Ten Commandments. Every day we fight sin. After all, we are born with it. And since we cannot fight the inevitable, it is best to work with Yahweh in as much of our everyday activities as we can. When working with vengeance, you must be aware of your relationship with Yahweh and what He can do for you. When a Yah spell calls for vengeance as an ingredient, you must ensure you have a solid bond with Yahweh. You will need His support and guidance since vengeance belongs to Him. It is not to say you can't feel the urge for revenge. You just must know how to give it up when the time comes. In the shame yaw spell, vengeance is a whopping 62% of the total needed to successfully cast the yaw spell. It is difficult to balance it out with the other ingredients, which break down as follows. Faith, 8%. Hope, 3%. Prayer, 10%. Hate, 3%. Fear, 14%. As you can see, the other ingredients come in such small quantities that a proper balance cannot be obtained without help from above. The demons will swarm around this Yah spell in hopes of leading you into ungodly acts of vengeance against your victim. We are too weak and too naive to journey out on our own and control vengeance. For this example, let's say you have a loved one who is very nosy and wants to know everything. This individual is into all your business and you cannot catch a break. You want some degree of privacy, but your loved one will not give you any. You pray to Yahweh and do what you can to get this person off your case. After close examination, you and Yahweh decided it's best to use the confusion Yah spell. Your loved one will be thrown off course and the goal is to end this invasion once and for all. In order to cast the confusion yaw spell, you will need the following ingredients. Love, 16%. Faith, 56%. Hope, 7%. Prayer, 8%. And vengeance, 13%. As you can see by studying the ingredients, much faith is required as well as Yahweh himself through love. Vengeance will be balanced out with love, hope, faith, and prayer. With the assistance of Yahweh and your communication with him and support from him, you can balance vengeance and keep it under wraps. Just because there is a small amount required doesn't mean it can't get out of hand. You are now ready to cast this Yah spell on your loved one. First, study the ingredients and ensure you have the proper balance before casting this Yah spell. Second, you must be face to face with the victim to cast this Yah spell. You will say things that make no sense to the victim. The victim, of course, must be within range to hear these confusing communications. Third, faith is very important to the casting of the Shah spell. You must heavily believe in what you are doing and you must believe that success is imminent. Fourth, the Shah spell relies on your physical actions as well as what you say. 
use your wisdom and research as a precursor to this yaw spell. A weak approach will change this yaw spell to the embarrassment yaw spell very quickly. You must maintain control of this yaw spell. Fifth, look for physical signs from your victim. Facial expressions and incomprehensible speech are signs of confusion. Your personal experience is the only way to know for sure. Sixth, once the confusion yaw spell has taken effect, leave the victim. Staying in the area will allow the clarity yaw spell to be cast. Clarity works with knowledge from the caster. Confusion works best when the source of the confusion cannot provide clarification. Seventh, not a lot of prayer is required for this yaw spell. So when you leave the victim, use a little prayer power to keep it on track. Yahweh will hold a cloud over the victim's head as long as needed. Never let your guard down when preparing for a Yah spell, which requires the vengeance ingredient. Yahweh must have an active role in this Yah spell, as well as all others with the danger of demon attack. You need all the help you can get from heaven, so keep communication active before, during, and after the Yah spell. You are a wise and sensible person. Casting any Yah spell with vengeance should never be taken lightly. You want what Yahweh wants, and you know how to get there. Sometimes it may take a little time. Obey Yahweh and never let go of your belief. God uses vengeance in a very effective way, much more effective than we can ever grasp. Read Ezekiel chapter 25 verses 15 through 17. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because the Philistines acted in vengeance and took revenge with malice in their hearts, and with ancient hostility sought to destroy Judah, therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am about to stretch out my hand against the Philistines, and I will cut off the Caratitis and destroy those remaining along the coast. I will carry out great vengeance on them and punish them in my wrath. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I take vengeance on them. There you have it. My example of how to cast the Yah spell. I hope it helps. If you pray and something changes, God is helping you. If you pray and nothing changes, you are helping God.